Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. <laughs> Great to be back on my channel. <laughs> A warm welcome to you. If this is your first time, hit the subscribe right now while we're on the topic. And um, yeah, don't look back guys. <laughs> Great man, guys. Uh, um, yeah, so nice to be back on another video. Um, it's been a busy week. Um, I did put quite a bit of stuff out this week, but uh, yeah, you know how it goes. You have to work in between as well. <laughs> oh my word. If only we can do the stuff we love all day long. That would be wonderful. Anyway, guys, um, today's video, um, we're going to have a look at how to do uh, multiple trees at once or how to populate trees easily um, hundreds and thousands of trees in a minute that type of stuff you know um, so I'm going to show you a tool that Giant has developed with uh, version 9 of the editor and we are on version 9.02 but they've added this mesh tool here it's a terrain mesh paint tool which is quite handy I must say um, in the old days to plant a tree you, you you normally grab the tree let me just come closer because otherwise i can't grab a tree you would uh you would grab a tree and you hold control b to place it and then when you click it with your left button to put it down you hold the button in and you don't leave it and then you just hit the control button and it will rotate the tree the, the control will rotate it for you a little bit every time you press control but you keep your mouse button in, you don't leave it. So that is how you planted um, trees now in the older versions. But now since they've made this mesh tool, it's so much easier. So what you do is you grab the tree that you want to plant. Um, is that one big enough? It does look like it's nice and big. So you grab the tree or select the tree that you want to, to uh, plant multiple of. Um, the best is to zoom out a bit further, you know, so you can have a bit of a, s a look around. And then what you do is you select this little um, um, mesh paint, uh, terrain mesh paint mode. You select that and you come here to the mesh painting. And then what you're going to do here by distance max and distance minimum is, is the amount of spacing it's going to do between your trees. So um, in a radius, for instance, if you make your radius big, what is my radius? 35. So make your radius, say, 40, for instance, um, or make it 50 even. So in 50 meters, uh, if you have the distance max 10, it means that there will be, uh, if you go square, I, I don't like square. I like working with round things. So distance max 10, it means over 50 you can get five trees you know or an uh, average of four maybe so all you do then is um, select your distance min and max don't worry about the rest um, random y rotate definitely because it will it will rotate each tree for you a little bit so they don't look the same direction you know so give some randomness so every time you just click left click it will just paste you a bunch of trees there you know so that is with uh, 10 and 5. So if we make it now, say, uh, 20 and 10, so double that space, then you'll quickly see the difference. You see, there it is. So it's less trees, you know, per section. So you can just play around with that and, <coughs> sorry, and have a look at what suits your style, you know. This is like dense trees and this is like um, less dense trees. But to think of a forest like that is uh, super dense, you know, if you look at what they've planted there on the side. Um, and also, obviously, the size of the tree will matter. So, I mean, if you come in close here now, this is almost not dense enough, you know. But this first ones we've placed, I think those are, are much better. Yeah. So you can, you can play around. The leaves are just touching each other. So I think that the 10 and 5 for these size trees is probably okay, you know, to make a forest. So now you can easily paste a forest within a minute, you know. <laughs> I mean, click, 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 click all over the map and you have a big forest, you know. Like in all days you had to do it one by one. It took for hours and then you end up with trees um, not, uh, not uh, um, touching the ground, all that nonsense where this tool now makes sure that every tree touches the ground, you know, so you don't have flying trees. Or at least I haven't seen any flying trees with this yet. 
<laughs> yet to be discovered, guys. All right, and then obviously, um, just one last thing, align to terrain. If you select that, it will make um, the trees that you have just stand in all directions according to the, the type of terrain it's standing on. So if I put here, um, you will find, you will find, uh, I was actually find a spot where, um, where it's a bit un yeah unlevel you'll see you'll see that uh, and let's yeah it is 2010 so let me show you they actually go skew you know if you if you plant them there i haven't selected man no wonder it's not working i was just wondering i'm pasting pasting i just want to undo a few of these um control z just to uh oh, there you go all right, so let's try it again. I must just select the align to terrain now, this time around. You see there, there's a few of them leaning over, so not a good idea to do that. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Great, man, guys. So um, I just thought I'll share that with you. It's another map-making tip which saves you hours of work um, these days. Obviously, um, unfortunately, they haven't thought of, of putting little ground spots or, or soil or needle or leaf spots under the trees for you you know because now you're going to still have to do that if you really want to do that you know but i i normally if i make a forest i just paint leaves all over you know because i mean uh, yeah <laughs> there is normally leaves all over so yeah i just uh, i just thought I'll, I'll i'll definitely just share that with you guys i hope it's been a helpful tip and uh, yeah have a wonderful wonderful day guys and uh, take care man i'll catch you on the next one